picture. Here we go. Okay. So he had this so, fresh. So Evan Roberts was having uh, dreams as a Bible college student. He'd only been there for a couple of weeks in 1904. And he'd had the, uh, these dreams of uh, a spiral staircase and people going down this spiral staircase into the fires of hell. And so he was compelled to come back and preach the gospel to the young people in the church. He'd wake up at night in a cold sweat thinking about their e eternity and the, the, these people just going into hell for their e eternity. And so he, out of compassion and a love for uh, his people, he came back uh, to Mariah Chapel and they started some meetings. And the meetings were sort of groanings ready to God. It wasn't necessarily uh, brilliant uh, preaching as such. It wasn't so much uh, great, uh, you know, exquisite exegesis of one kind or another. It wasn't a particular theological bias. What it was, was a heart that was desiring, an overpowering desire of the heart to really meet with God and yield to the will of God. Wow. And as they started to meet and pray here at Moriah, what would happen is that people would be drawn to the prayer meetings. All of a sudden we can see here the cross keys in next door. People from the pubs would come and uh, they would feel compelled and they'd come into the church in the earlier hours of the morning, three o'clock in the morning, uh, right throughout the days and the weeks, uh, what would happen? People would come in and they'd fall and they'd ask God to forgive them and they'd get right with God and they'd lives would be changed and they'd start to really follow a biblical mandate for life. And what Evan Roberts said was, he said this, examine yourselves, he would say, and check to see that there is nothing in you, nothing in your heart that is compromised. So make sure that your entirety, you know, your mind understands that to live for Jesus, it means that we've said goodbye to sin. Amen. And not only goodbye to sin, but anything that might even appear to be sinful. So he said, if you have any question of something, if something is just questionable, leave it behind so that you can be pure before Almighty God and live pure uh, for Him. Because the revival then spread throughout the world.